going to the lake. So wait. Okay, you might not be able to tell here. I usually go off and push up this hill. Well, on the old bike anyway. Let's see how the new one handles it. Not that it's that new, I've had it a little while now. I might still get off for a little chat with you guys and let you know what I'm doing, but now, I pumped up the tires on the bike a bit more as well, because I'm gonna be on roads mostly today. Thought it might help. Okay, we're gonna have to shift down here. There's the first one. There's the second one. I was definitely pushing at this point on the old bike. And down another one. Come on, calf, don't start cramping. Have I got any more? No, that's it, that's all I got. Okay, legs are burning a bit now. But, it's probably because I'm trying to go too quick. It's hot in that sunshine. I'm hoping, it's giving rain in six hours. I'm hoping it clouds over before that because I'm gonna burn. Legs are burning now. I can't get off when there's a car about. Or a van. Right then, so today I am redoing the uh, bike ride that I did last time on my old bike. Not last time, a while back. It's uh, 36 miles it should be. So at the minute I'm climbing out of the Kine Valley I think I think that's where I am. I'm climbing up a hill. Well, let's face it, it's a mountain. Uh, yeah, we're uh, gonna go over to Lake Vimy, cycle around that, then up over a mountain pass to a place called Pedafar, and then up over a steep climb to Sand Rider. I probably won't go to the waterfall. We did that not too recently. And then I will bike back to home over another mountain, so that's fun. The reason for me doing this today is, uh, and I'll show you, we are behind on, well I am behind on my uh, Lord of the Rings Conqueror Challenge by just over 20 miles I think now. The walk that I did, the three day walk, I did 48 miles. But that pretty much just brought us back on track. So today hopefully takes us about 10 miles over, you know, ahead, if you like. And then, if I'm feeling up to it, I'm supposed to be going biking again on Monday with some friends, which should be another 20 miles or so, which would be nice. I'll be uh, chuffed with that. I'm liking these though. Don't have to carry any bags on me because the bike's doing it. <sighs> right, we're almost at the top. See you in a bit. Those clouds over there look some. Which way are they going? Uh, with us, towards us, great. We might get a little damp. Hopefully it doesn't thunder. We done five miles, just about. Another three to go to the village of Flannel then. 
Will the bag stay on? Probably. This guy does it. Well, he hasn't tried to overtake me yet, so that's something. Oh, there's a lady. Oh, thank you. Yep, no, she did. She went into the other lane, the other side of the road completely. So many don't do that. They come like here. I've got wide handlebars. It only takes a little whoop and I'm gone. If you're overtaking somebody on a bike, use the other side of the road. If you can use some of it, use all of it. Rant over. No one behind, also good. speed we got to there, I think like maybe 30. <sighs> and I didn't even hear them behind me. What are we doing there? 12. my arm forward, about 25 maybe. Jesus Christ, I'm knackered. <laughs> <laughs> 
<sighs> Check that out. Lovely. It's very tempting to get an old canoe rented, but I haven't got any cash on me. Plus it would add like an hour onto my trip. Oh, it's very tempting though. Oh, yeah, the water level's really high. I suppose it would be, just coming into spring. Well, fairly into spring by now. Oh dear, when did that happen? Top end of the lake, up those two valleys. You got the roundy bit, and then a bit of a longer way up there. I'll show you on the map later. Or now, if I'm done in the edit. Yeah, last time I was here, all of this was dry. And there's like a, I'm not showing you very well, but I'll, put a link but it's, uh, it's like <laughs> behind me now but you could uh, walk out to um, the foundations of an old like rectory house or a shooting lodge or something just over here through the trees you could practically walk straight across Yeah, Matt, there's that sunken bridge. Maybe I'm not quite as far up as I think I am, but yeah, especially towards that end, it was dry. And yeah, you could go straight across. There was an, an, old, um, an old bridge resurfaced, actually, on the top end of the old village. So I think it was next to the farm at the top here. There we go, that's one top end of the lake. Ah, oh, I'll just stop here. That, oh god, ha. ow, 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 that hurt. Right, you lean there, bike, good. That barrel is useful. Yeah, you went down here. That tree was completely out of the water on a little spit of land, and there was the foundation. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I uh, came up here once to cook, to cook. To, uh, to have a coffee on the uh, bridge. So you used to go out here and you'd head out onto where the lake is now. And um, yeah, that's where, that's where the bridge was. There is a bird hide down here, lakeside bird hide, which uh, you can go and have a look at. I'm not gonna do that now though, but I think I'm just gonna stop here and um, have my lunch because we're at mile 16 now. Uh, we've been going for just over two hours. Uh, legs, legs are feeling it a bit, but I don't want to sit down because I feel like I might seize up. So I'm going to eat my lunch stood up here next to this little stream in the woodland, which isn't providing much shade. Bish bash bosh, that's the lake done, more or less. Oh, after I picked up the bike after lunch, oh, it's been hard going. My legs have, uh, they don't want to play anymore, which is uh, pretty bad. I've still got another 16 miles to go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get a wriggle on. This road's a little less well maintained. Glad I got the mountain bike for this. Ooh, to avoid these massive potholes. I'm more pole than road. Oh, 
there's no avoiding that one. Whoa! <laughs> this um, rain is an hour away. Looks like it's come early. I was wondering what those big splashes were I kept feeling. It's not too bad actually, because uh, I've just come up this big hill. So I'm quite tired and a bit hot. So some rain might be good. Although I hope it's only a shower. It looks to be, it's only, there's only a few small clouds over there. I think it's that one that's the problem. Some epic looking sky going on over there. Looks like we're not the only ones with rain. It's this one, look at him. Being big and foreboding. There we go, oh look, that's convenient. They left the gate open so we can go around the cattle grid. I'm very tempted, in fact I will. Oh, whoa, okay. Grass is slow going. Ugh. Oh god, I'm glad I avoided that. Whoa. Oh no, shoulder work. This is the um, forestry area that I came through. I've been through this way a few times now. When I did the uh, No Main Roads mission, I also came this way, but we sort of cut across it rather than went down it. But this is a lot of fun. And uh, I'll just get past these puddles and I'll show you. I'm gonna have to keep my uh, weight off the front, really because um, the uh, front bag is likely to catch on the tire. Uh, we might be all right though. It doesn't help that this on the way up here is shaking everything to its very fiber of being. I wonder if I can, I can't really hold it. Oh good. All right, we might be all right. Got to keep some brakes, because, uh, yeah. Yeah, that is happening. Oh well. In an effort to save my bags, I've locked the suspension, so this could be a bumpy ride. My wrists aren't going to thank me for this. making some weird noises, that front brake. Oh, my hands hurt after that. What is that noise? I have to check, something's catching maybe. Right, because it's started chucking it down, well, a fine drizzle, I'm going to uh, take this sneaky little shortcut that I've just remembered, which should bring us out halfway up the hill to Brifter, which means we're cutting out 
maybe a mile or two um, but I'm gonna get soaked yeah maybe a mile or two and we should come out halfway up the uh, up the hill that mountain over there is what we're aiming for to my left oh here's a car these cars have all got the same ideas it's not very nice weather today now Van, I'm gonna have to stop. <sighs> right, yeah, this is uh, pretty miserable, so I'm cutting it short. Just scratch my leg with my pedal. If nothing else, these bags are getting their waterproofing tested. The way the water's just sort of sitting on top makes me think that they'll be all right looks like that's cut a massive climb out for us i don't think we were down onto the floor of the valley there so that's good right where do we come out here off up this hill i reckon yeah we saved ourselves the bottom portion that's good in fact i think we saved ourselves a bit more than that Yep. Yeah, not bad at all, actually. Yeah, it's only 33 miles. Damn it. And a half. Oh well, this is it. Way home. I have to lock that suspension again. I think the bag slipped or something. Oh, I'm gonna get cold and muddy. I think I lost my chain. <sighs> well, that was unfortunate. Shouldn't come off now, I've just flicked the switch, so that should be good. Right, ah, oh, I'm getting sprayed all up my back. Of course, because I'm not wearing a backpack. <laughs> oh, that's, I'd say that's refreshing, it's cold. I'm not gonna go much faster than this. But it's downhill all the way now. Oh god, that is cold. What are we doing? 16. Nothing behind at the moment. Oh god, my legs are aching. Oh. doing now? 20. That's better. Thank you. 
chilly now. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.